visiting this amazing group doing wonderful work on saving the environment using energy efficient cookstove. Sustainable Innovation is here to introduce this amazing group and help you understand more on what we can do to protect our environment. Please stay tuned, you'll learn more on how to produce this efficient cookstove. The benefits and the cost analysis, best and very analysis on what you need to do to help you have impact on your environment. Please. Don't forget to share, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to visit this group. Hello everybody. <laughs> this is Tanyoka CBO. Tanyoka CBO is in Homer Bay County, Kindu Bay sub-county, East Kanyalua location, Kowuru West sub-location, Kanyonje village. Tanyoka CBO uh, is where we get the energy saving GICOs. Energy saving GICO is processed there at the CBO. And that word Tanyoka comes from three groups which comes together to form one CBO. The three groups are one Tangreti women group, Nyocho women group, Kanyonje women group, the three CBOs, the three groups come together to form one CBO, which is now called Tanyoka. The Tanyoka people are doing what we call the PHE. And in the PHE, we identify one activity which is called pottery. In the pottery, we are making energy saving jiko. The energy saving jiko is made from clay which we get from River Sare just down here. There is where we get uh, the clay and the sand. When we have gotten these two uh, things, which is the clay and the sand, we bring them home. And we always use, a, uh, I can call it a container, uh, just a basket, a bucket. And that bucket, just the normal one, or the normal one of 20 liters. When you get a clay, which is uh, 20 liters, which I can get, uh, put it as kilograms, and we mix with uh, two tins of sand. When we mix it, we can make three energy saving jikos from that one. And the mixing, we have to mix it properly using water. We put a little water when we are mixing to make it mix properly. And uh, when, he, when you want to know that it is uh, mixed properly, when you touch it like this, it will not remain on your hands. You will just touch it and you, when you get the hands, you will find that your hands are very clean. That means that the mixing is proper. From there, we have something we called mold. This mold is made in a form of a circular form. Being that we cannot get a clay which is uh, circular, we make the clay in two pieces. You flatten it and we make it in two pieces. The first bit you put around and then you cover the other part. After putting them in the, inside the mold, you try to heat it a bit, just uh, slowly, not so hard, to make it get the shape of the mold and then in the mold there, there's a, uh, a straight steel. Before you start uh, <laughs> twisting it, you put water, very small water, and you put the handle, and then you start uh, making it round until it becomes very, very smooth. And when it comes, the, the edges comes just flat to the edge of the mold, is when you will take it out and you clean where you want to put it first so that the, the top of the, the, the surface is not, uh, is not uh, broken. 
So we take it down, uh, out <coughs> from the mold, we put it uh, on the floor where we have swept or smooth and clean. And then we take a plastic, it is just a plastic, normal plastic, which is cut and the, se uh, the sizes are smoothened. We clean, we, we smoothen the other side of it, the outer one, the part which was covered by the mold. We smoothen it with that plastic so that it isn't the work the following day when we want cut where to put the firewood. So we smoothen it and then the following day we come with the handle. There's a, a certain curved uh, steel which we use and a knife to cut the space of the fire where we can put the fire, the, the firewood. So we cut it after we have cut it. Then we have a potrest mold. Yes. It is very small. We use it to make the potrest. After which we can scratch where we scratch very little parts where we are going to put the potrest. After you are putting that as potrest, it will take you almost a week when you are still taking care of your energy saving jiko. This one we are going to do because when you just leave it open, they crack. So we do cover them so that they have the conducive environment which can make them stay safe and they do not crack at that point. After that one, we are going to put it under a room temperature which at times forces us to cover them with blankets and they will stay under that temperature for one week. After that one, then we'll remove the blanket, we leave them now open to dry up for another two weeks. After that, they are now ready for firing, where we use the kiln for firing. The kiln which we are having now can only take 120 energy saving jikos for firing. We have the smaller one, but in the near future, we hope we are going to get a bigger one. So we are happy to make the energy saving Jiko in such a way so that they can help us to get our livings also to pay our school fee for our children. Until there, the energy saving Jiko is ready made for firing. Thank you. Wow. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you've learned something. Stay tuned for more. Welcome. Alora bende werito, eh. Alora bende werito, kata kama no tjo dime. Bende bende wachwe yo, eh. Bende bende wachwe yo, kata kama no tjo dime. Kanyo albende wachano, kata kama no tjo dime. Pesitedo, 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 P